a consignment. I don't know, but this is some some time kind of a mystery for students. I don't know why. This chapter consignment account. Mysterious. But for us it should not be a mystery. We should enjoy. Not only this, the next topic that follows joint venture accounts also, we should love it. Not simply learn it, okay? With that target, we will start this chapter, consignment accounts, okay? Just ask Ramesh. Now, as usual, whenever we start a chapter, consignment accounts, we have a story. So I'll not make you to write down, i just tell you the story. What happened in the story? I'll note down the transactions which have taken place. Then we'll start solving the problem. Okay? So, in our story, we have Mr. Radio. Mr. Radio Srinivas. Okay? Character number one. We have the first character, Mr. Radio Srinivas, and his relative, okay, Mr. Naresh B. Tech. Remove this. Let's not, we can say, degrade other courses. So, we have two characters in our story, Mr. Radio Srinivas and Mr. Sri Naresh, okay? Mr. Radio Srinivas is based in Mumbai. Originally, he belongs to Andhra Pradesh. But because of, we can say, business obligations and in search of business and livelihood, this man has gone to Mumbai, okay? And in Mumbai, he has set up a business. The business is to buy and sell smartphones, okay? You know, iPhone, you know, iPhone, this guy is going to deal with y -phone. iPhone just came with y -phone. If the phones will look exactly like iPhones or better than iPhones, the phones will look like Samsung phone, but it is not Samsung, it is Samsung. M is replaced with N. The phone looks like the Samsung phone only, but it is not Samsung phone. So his business is to import these cheap goods from Taiwan and from China and then he sells those phones in Mumbai, okay? He has been doing this business for the last five years and every year he has been making very good profits. Because last five years smartphone, 2G, 3G, internet, touch, non-touch. So uh, last five years he has been doing tremendous business in Mumbai. Okay, so he is importing lot of goods from China, selling them in Mumbai, making nice profits. Now, this man comes to know that in Hyderabad also, there is a huge opportunity. Because people are not able to pay 30,000, 40,000, 15, 20,000 rupees for smartphones. He feels that he has, we can say, <coughs> substitutes. These cheap China phones will have a lot of demand even in Hyderabad. And we all know that actually there is some demand for those phones in Hyderabad also, okay? So this man has decided that he will start his business even in Hyderabad because he knows that Hyderabad, uh, we can say, uh, uh, cosmopolitan, you have people from all region, all educational backgrounds, all cars, etc. You have a lot of industry, software companies and everything. The city is growing, so it means there is a lot of demand, potential for his business in Hyderabad. In Mumbai, there is tough competition. You know? Hyderabad, there is not such tough competition. So he wants to start his business even in Hyderabad. Okay, now he has a problem. The problem is he knows that if he starts a business in Hyderabad, he has to send goods to Hyderabad. Somebody has to stay in Hyderabad, sell goods, collect money, maintain a shop. He will do that now. For that, he cannot frequently travel to Hyderabad. He has to control the business. So he feels that if I move from Mumbai, in the cutthroat competition in Mumbai, the business will die. So he feels he cannot 
frequently travel to Hyderabad. Maybe once in six months, once in three months, he can come and go. But regular business, he cannot look after. So he wants to start a business, but he cannot allocate time. And he fears partnership business because he knows in partnership business, liability of the part partners is unlimited. I am do doing business in Mumbai. I have my partner in Hyderabad. If he does something, I will be held liable. I will not have any control. So now, what he thinks is, he wants to do the business, but he doesn't want to go into partnership form of business. And he is not able to find the right kind of partner. He remembers that he has a relative. Mr. Naresh is related to whom? Mr. Rida Srinivas. Not very close relative, distant relative. Very close means very difficult to do business again. Because you cannot say anything loudly or you cannot say anything harshly to them. Because they are close relatives. So he is a distant relative. Relative but not very closely related. Distant relative. So normally we maintain some distance with him. So he's like an outsider but known to us. That is the only reason we have. This guy, you can say he has studied something. But he's jobless and he's roaming on the roads. So he's free, available. Gali Tirudranu. Okay, so now this man remembers that yes, this guy, I met him in one of the functions, family functions. He was saying he has studied something and now he's searching for jobs, but he's not getting jobs. So he remembers this guy and he thinks, okay, this guy will be nice because we know him. He is honest, he is trustworthy and we have at least some rapport about it. So I should start business with him. So he asks, Naresh, are you interested? Will you become my partner? Will you invest money? I will send goods from Mumbai, you sell them in Hyderabad, we will do partnership. And I say, sir, I don't have single pie in my pocket. I have some money, but it is not sufficient to become your partner. He says, if you want, you can use me. If you want me to serve you, I am ready to serve you. Okay. So Mr. Srinivas thinks about it and he says, okay. He says, on certain conditions, I can take your help, I can employ you. Shinyuwa says, I will send my goods to Hyderabad. I will send the goods to you. You are there in Hyderabad, no? You have to take, you have to arrange a shop on rent. I will tell you at what rent, at what location, uh, how much advance, at what rent. I will tell you, you have to search for the shop, arrange the shop. If you incur any expenditure, I will pay that to you. You don't worry about it. But you have to search and you have to get the deal done. When I send the goods, you have to unload the goods from the truck. You have to keep that in the shop, your responsibility. You have to appoint four or five sales boys, sales girls in the shop so that when customer comes, they can show it and sell it. If some small, small advertisement has to be done, some palm have to be distributed, some newspaper advertisement has to be done, you can take care of it. Okay? And when the phones are sold, you will get the money, no? That money will not belong to you. You have to give that money to me. Because I am sending the phone, I am going to pay the rent, I am going to pay salary, I am going to pay current bill. I am going to bear the advertisement expenditure. You need not bear anything. Just do what I tell. I will send the phones to you, arrange a shop on rent, appoint people, get the, show, get the phone sold, do some advertisement. Okay? And when the mobile phones are sold, you will get some money. That money you please don't put it in your pocket and sleep. You have to give the money back to me. Why? I am the owner of the goods. You are merely an agent. What are you? Agent. Now Naresh will say, sir, then what is my benefit? Nag and He will say, what? What is the benefit for me? So he says, on whatever sales you are making, I will give you some commission. Okay. Now if I say salary, then Naresh becomes employee. He says, I will not give you salary, I will give you commission. In that way, quotation will also be there. If you increase your sales, the commission will increase. If your sales decreases, your commission will also reduce. Okay. What is the difference between an employee and an agent? Can anybody tell me? Commission is not fixed salary, it's fixed amount. Oh, that I have already told. Any other thing? See, to an employee you have to tell what he has to do, how he has to do, what are his duties, what are his responsibilities, what will be his liabilities. So to employees you have to tell everything. He will not use his brain. Agent, we have to tell him what has to be done, that's it. How it will be done, at what time it will be done, it is his attitude. 
Agent you have to tell boss, you have to sell the phone. That's it. It's not my responsibility. Everything you have to do. Employee, you have to say you have to come at 10 o'clock in the morning. You can, uh, you have to work till 1 o'clock. Then 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, you have to have your lunch. After you should not do badhagani. You have to come back to the shop. Then you have to work. So you will get one or two days of leave. All these stories you need not tell to the agent. You have to tell only boss. I am sending goods, send it, you will get commission. So it is his responsibility to get it sold. So freedom is given to an agent whereas freedom is not given to an employee. Okay. If you have put left, left leg like this, you have to tell the employee, put your left leg like this. Only then you put the leg like this. Commission agent no such thing. You have this, you have to just move forward. He'll decide whether he has to put his right foot forward, left foot forward, or he's going to do uh, somersaults or circus and then reach that place. It is his responsibility. Are you going to understand? That is the difference between an employee and an agent. If you ask employee, why are you done like this? He says, I don't know. You told me like this, I am doing like this. He will not apply his brain. Okay. So, Radio Srinivas has decided to start his business with the help of Mr. Naresh. He says Naresh will be called as the agent. He will be the principal. In our language, accounting language, we call him as the consignor. We call him as what? C-O-N-S-I-G-N-O-R. C-O-N? S I G N O R. He is called as Kanzai E. C O N S I G N E E. Kanzai E. Agent, principal. Okay. Srinivas is going to send the phones to Naresh. Now, is Naresh required to pay money to Srinivas for the phones? No. He is only going to load the goods in a truck or in a ship. The ship will come to Mr. Naresh. He has to unload the goods. What he has to do then? Arrange a shop, keep it in the shop, arrange employees sell the goods and out of the money he collects, what he has to do? He will not send the entire money to Mr. Srinivas. See when he is sending the money, Srinivas will say, boss you have got some money from selling the phones, no? Out of that money, you take, you deduct rent because you have to pay rent to the owner, no? You have to pay salaries, deduct salaries. You have to take your commission, deduct your commission. You have paid advertisement expenses. You have incurred out of your pocket. If you have incurred any advertisement, pay it to those expenses. Remaining amount you send it. I will understand. So what the consignor will tell the consignee? Consignee will sell goods, collect cash. Before sending the money, you do some adjustments. Rent, which are paid. Salary to employees. Commission, my income. Advertisement. I have paid advertisement expenses. Now I will remove it from that. Whatever remains? send it to the consignor. Consignor will ask, boss you said you have sold 10 lakh but you are sending only 4 or 5 lakh. Why? He will send a statement. Out of cash collected, what are the deductions he has made and how much he is sending, he will send a statement. That statement is called as account sales. What is called as? Account sales. Account sales. What does that mean? Account for sales or count of sales. You have tell. Out of cash collected, how much amount you are sending, what are the reductions you have made. So, will send an account sales to the consignor. Consignor will come to understand what are the transactions done by the consignor. Okay. Now, she was also tells. Now, Naresh is, we can say, he's a poor man, so he asks, Sir, if something happens to the cell phones, if theft happens, if there is some burglary, then what? Who will suffer the loss? He says, you need not worry. It's my responsibility. If there is a fire accident, if the phones are lost, then whose responsibility? This is my responsibility. I think you all know, no? Risk follows ownership. Who will have risk? The owner will have risk always. Yes? Because Srinivas is the owner of the goods. He will always have risk. So Naresh will never have the risk. Now, Naresh, sir, if there is a loss, you need not worry about all those things. You just do what I have done. If there is a loss, I will suffer. If there is a profit, also I will enjoy. I will give you only commission. So these are the terms and conditions agreed between Mr. Naresh and Mr. Srinivas. Okay. Now, during the year 2014, during the year 2014, they start business in Hyderabad. Okay. Now, this can note down the transaction which took place. These were the transactions that took place between consignor and consignee during the year 2014.
These were the transactions that took place between the consignor and the consignee during the year 2014. One, sent, S-E-N-T, not D, sent, sent, S-E-N-T, not S-C-E-N-T, it is different as, <laughs> sent, thousand phones, sent, thousand phones, costing, thousand rupees each sent thousand phones costing thousand rupees each to Mr. Naresh so you know what is the cost price of goods sent on consignment? 10 lakh rupees clear? next right now point number 2 Transaction number two. Packing expenses. Packing expenses. Packing expenses incurred one lakh rupees. Normally you won't incur so much expenses, but our story no. So whatever masala we want, we can put right now. So packing expense incurred how much? 1 lakh rupees. By Mr. Srinivas Udray. Who incurred those packing expenses? Mr. Srinivas. Next. Transaction number 3. Transaction number 3. Freight and insurance expenses. and insurance expenses incurred by Srinivas 1 lakh freight means he is sending through ship just listen to me what he is doing is he is in Mumbai no? so he has dumped the goods in a ship the ship will come to Vizag and from Vizag it will come by truck maybe he fears that from Bombay to Hyderabad if it comes by road somebody may steal the goods on a sea nobody is going to steal the goods so he is send, sending the goods by we can say sea route not the land route okay I assume he is a madman continue continue next clearing and transportation charges incurred by Mr. Naresh 50,000 clearing and transportation charges incurred by Mr. Naresh 50,000 so the goods have come to the Vishakhapatnam shipyard the goods have been downloaded the goods have been we can say unloaded I think we have forgotten unloaded now we only remember downloaded <laughs> the goods have been unloaded they have been kept at the Vishakhapatnam shipyard then you have to go there, you have to pay some fees to the customs authorities, etc. Because you have used their space for some time, no? The ship has waited in the shipyard for some time, so you have to pay some money. Not only that, to bring the goods from Vizag to Hyderabad, you have incurred some amount again. How much you have incurred? 50,000. Next. 50,000 rupees. Next. Go down rent. Comma shop rent paid by Naresh paid by Naresh forty thousand rupees paid by Naresh forty thousand rupees okay continue. Advertisement expenses incurred by Naresh, 60,000 rupees.
50,000 rupees. Next. Continue. I don't. Salaries paid by Naresh. One lakh fifty thousand rupees. One lakh fifty thousand rupees. Naresh is entitled to a commission of. Naresh is entitled to a commission of. Twenty percent on sales. Sorry. Not twenty percent. Just four percent here. The strike of twenty percent. Four percent. Naresh is entitled to commission of four percent on sale. Continue. Naresh sold. Naresh sold. You need to change the question. Don't write twenty percent. Write only four percent. Naresh sold 800 smartphones for 12 lakh 50 thousand rupees. Naresh sold 800 smartphones at the rate of 12 lakh 50 thousand. Not one cell phone. All cell phones put together 12 lakh 50 thousand rupees. Full stop. So how many are unsold? 200. 200. Right off. At the end of the year, Mr. Srinivas finds that his profits have reduced instead of increasing. At the end of the year, Mr. Srinivas has observed that profits have reduced instead of increasing. He wants to know the reason. Understand the problem. We'll repeat the transactions once again. How many cell phones were sent by Mr. Srinivas to Mr. Naresh? Thousand cell phones costing thousand rupees each. Okay. Then Mr. Srinivas paid how much for packing expenses? One lakh. He also incurred for freight and insurance how much during transportation? One lakh. Then Mr. Naresh for getting the goods from Vizag to Hyderabad. How much he has spent? Fifty thousand rupees. Then what are the other expenses incurred by Mr. Rishin Naresh at Hyderabad? Go down rent how much? Go down rent and shop rent? 40,000 he has paid. Then advertisement expense how much he has incurred? 60,000. After that salaries? 1,50,000. He is entitled to commission of how much percentage? 4 percentage on the sales. Mr. Naresh sold how many cell phones at what value? 800 cell phones for 12,50,000. Actually, if a new business has been started, Mr. Srinivas was rubbing his hand at the end of the year. Now I will get more profits. Till now I was getting only profits from Mumbai business. Now I have Hyderabad business also. So my profit should increase. But when he goes to his accountant, the accountant says, Sir, profits are not increased. They are reduced. Now he gets surprised. He wants to know why the profits have reduced. He has serious doubt about Hyderabad business. Because he knows last five years he has been making good profits in Mumbai business. And he's always sitting at Galla at the, the Mumbai business. So he knows what is happening there. So he knows this Mumbai business is making profits. But he has doubt about Hyderabad business. He feels Hyderabad business is making a loss. How will you help him? 
He wants to know what is the profit or loss earned by Hyderabad business separately. He wants to know the performance of Hyderabad business. How will he do it? So now what we tell him is, Mr. Srinivas, if you want to know the profits of Hyderabad business separately, please maintain a separate trading and PNL account for it. Maintain a separate trading and PNL account in your books. In the books of Srinivas, we are asking to maintain a separate trading and profit and loss account. That trading and profit and loss account is called as that trading and profit and loss account is called as consignment account. What's it called as? In whose books are we preparing this? In the books of consignor. Books of consignor. Mr. Srinivas, okay. So we are saying in the books of Mr. Srinivas, please maintain a separate trading and PNL account for consignment business. What is a trading and PNL account called as consignment account? Are you able to understand? And he says you also maintain one more account called as the consignee account. Consignee within brackets, Mr. Naresh account. So we are saying if Srinivas maintains consignment account. He will come to know whether the Hyderabad business is making profits or losses. If he maintains consignee account, that is Mr. Naresh account in his books, he will come to know whether Naresh is a creditor to him or whether Mr. Naresh is a debtor to him. How much I have to collect from Naresh or how much I have to pay to Mr. Naresh, it can be ascertained by preparation of the consignee account in the books of the consignor. Is it clear? Are you able to follow everyone? This account is prepared to calculate profit or loss. This account is prepared to find out whether Kanzani has to pay money to us or receive money for, from us. Okay. Start preparing the account in your books. One page is sufficient. Three-fourth of the page consignment account. One-fourth of the page consignee account. Write the heading clearly. In the books of Mr. Srinivas. Consignor, consignment account and consignee account. Ready everyone? Yes, now how are you going to use consignment account? Listen to me. All expenses of Hyderabad business should be debited here. All incomes of Hyderabad business should be credited here to calculate profit or loss of Hyderabad business. Similarly, whenever Naresh is receiving money, debit his account. Whenever he is paying money, credit his account. All expense of Hyderabad business, debit. All expense of Hyderabad business, credit here. Don't debit it and credit it in the trading account or PNL account of Mumbai business. Hyderabad business expenses debit here, not in Mumbai trading account. Hyderabad business sales, don't credit in your Mumbai trading account, credit it in consignment trading account. Is it clear? This is called as the consignment trading and PNL account. We don't say consignment trading and PNL account, we simply say consignment account. Is it clear? And to know the position of the consignee, we prepare the consignee account. Okay. So how are you going to deal with it? Write down. Entries. Entry number one. When goods are sent on consignment. When goods are sent on consignment. When goods are sent on consignment. Okay, wait. Tell me, when Mr. Srinivas purchases goods from a Chinese manufacturer, he is buying goods from a Chinese manufacturer. What is the normal entry that comes to your mind in the books of Srinivas? Purchases account, debtor to creditor, 
और पच्चीस अकाउंट रिटार्ड टू कैश नॉर्मली पच्चीस अकाउंट विल सिट वे इन दी ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट टू परचेज All the purchases are debited to the trading account. So whenever I purchase goods from China, I pass the entry purchase account onto creditor account. Purchase account will be debited, and purchase account will go and sit in which account? Trading account. This is what Mumbai trading account. Okay. Now my question is: Out of these goods, some goods have been sent to Hyderabad. Out of these goods, some goods have been sent to Hyderabad. Income from sale of those goods will be credited here. Should I debit the expense here? Out of these goods, some of the goods is sent to Hyderabad. When goods are sold, income will be shown here. Expense can be shown here. Will it be proper matching of incomes and expenses? Income you are showing in Hyderabad. Expense you are showing in Mumbai. What will happen because of this is? Hyderabad business will show bumper profits, Mumbai business will show bumper losses. So you cannot do that, you have to do matching. You are saying goods are sold in Hyderabad, income will be shown there, hence expense have to be shifted to the consignment account. How will you shift it? You have to give a credit here, give a debit here. You have to give a credit here, then give a debit here. Okay, write on the entry. I have to remove the cost price of goods sent on consignment from the debit side. I have to remove from here, then paste it here. Right on entry. Goods sent on consignment account, debtor to trading account, or purchases account. Goods sent on consignment account, debtor to trading account, or purchases account. If this entry is passed. Before preparation of trading account, you will use purchases account. If you are passing this entry while preparing trading account, then you have to use the trading account in the entry. Is it clear? So what is it you are going to pass? Goods sent on consignment account data to trading account or to purchase account. Write the value. 1000 into 1000, 10 lakh. Now tell me what will be the posting in the trading account? Look at the board. What will be the posting in the trading account? Trading account will be credited. You write here by good set on consignment. 10 lakh. Yes. Why credit? Wrongly debited. Hence removed by giving a credit. These goods were debited here, no? So to remove the debit, you have given a credit in the account. Now see your entry. In this entry, good sent on consignment account is a nominal account. It has to be closed by transferring it to the consignment trading account. Which trading account? Or simply consignment account. So in the entry which you have passed, you have opened a nominal account, good sent on consignment account. Now those goods have to be charged to which account? Consignment account. Right now. When goods are same entry, same transaction. Just continue. A, B, you will write. B, when goods are charged to consignment account. Now see the above entry which you have written in your notebook. Goods sent on consignment account is showing a debit balance. That account has to be closed. Give up credit. Give which, which account will be debited? <laughs> Right on the entry, consignment account return to good sent on consignment account. Consignment account return to good sent on consignment account. So look at the board. We have passed two entries. Goods sent on consignment to trading. Why? To remove the debit, we have passed this entry. Then this is a. We can say these are goods to be charged to consignment. So what will pass? Consignment account data to goods sent on consignment. Okay. So because of this, consignment account will now be debited. Right on. To goods sent on consignment. 
Do the problem along with me. 10 lakh. So what have I achieved? Look at the board. I have removed the debit from trading account and I have included the debit in the consignment account. I have removed the debit from the trading account and I have included the debit in the consignment account. Are you able to understand? For removing the debit, what is the entire road? Goods sent on consignment account or to trading account. Then I threw the account into which account? Consignment account. What is the entire pass? Consignment account at R2? Goods sent on consignment account. So please tell me loudly, what are the two entries you are going to pass for goods sent on consignment? Goods sent on consignment account at R2 trading account. First entry, second entry, consignment account at R2 goods sent on consignment account. Is it clear? Yes. Are you able to understand? Continue. See the next transaction in your notebook. Packing expenses paid by Srinivas. First of all, we are in whose books? In the books of Srinivas or in the books of Naresh? Srinivas? Srinivas? Naresh? Srinivas. You should know where you are. You are in Mumbai or you are in Hyderabad. Right on. So we have to pay, play the role of accountant of Mr. Srinivas. Right on. Next, when packing expenses are paid by Srinivas, write down entries. When packing expenses are paid by Mr. Srinivas. Now, look at the board everyone. When you, what is the normal entity that strikes your mind when you say packing expenses paid? Packing expenses, packing expenses, what is your nature? Nominal account, expenses and losses, debit. What is going out? You are issuing through, you are paying through cash. The cash is going out. So what is the entity that comes to my mind is packing expenses account debtor to cash account. How much amount? One lakh. Wait, wait, don't write. Now if I pass this entry, what will happen? A new nominal account called as packing expenses will be opened. It will be debited. Because of this entry, packing expenses ledger account will open. It will give a debit. It will show debit balance. How will I close the account? Nominal accounts are killed by transferring them to graveyard. p and account. Now, my question is, I should transfer this expense to Mumbai p and account or Hyderabad p and account. Because the expense is for what business? Hyderabad business. So this account has to be closed. If I want to close this account, what should I do? Credit. credit. Two packing expenses credit. Which account should be debited? Consignment. Consignment, one lakh debit, one lakh credit. So you created the entries. First entry is what? Packing expenses to cash. Second entry is kill this account. I want to close this account. Give a credit here. Give debit to which account? Consignment account. See those two entries. Can you strike off any common items in that entry? Packing expenses debit. Packing expenses credit. Cancel. Packing expenses debit. Packing expenses credit. Cancel. What is the entry that remains? Consignment account at R2. Note down that entry in a notebook. Consignment account at R2, cash account. I'll give posting to cash. One lakh. Look at the board, everyone. This 10 lakh rupees is for 1000 phones. Packing expenses were also incurred for 1000 phones. Continue. Did you understand the entry? Please tell me. Now, do you want a magic formula to get the entries? The magic formula is, as soon as you see a transaction, think about the normal entry. Think about what? Normal entry. In your normal entry, if you can see any nominal account, flip it. Change it with what? Consignment. Over. Kill the So, think about the entry. 
if you see any nominal account, change the nominal account with what? Consignment. You have to flip the nominal account and you should write consignment account. Okay. Let us check whether our magic formula is right or not. Right on. Next, see the next transaction. Freight and insurance expenses incurred. How much? One lakh. One lakh. Look at the board, everyone. Listen to me carefully. Now we are in the books of whom? Srinivas. Srinivas is paying one lakh. For what? Freight and insurance. Cash is going out. For what? Freight and insurance. Normally that comes to your mind. Freight and insurance expenses account at R2. Cash account. Now in this entry, tell me which account is nominal account? If you say cash, I will throw you out of the building. Freight and insurance expenses account at R2. Cash account. Out of these two accounts, which account is nominal account? Freight and insurance expenses. You have to change it with what? Consignment. So what is entry? Consignment account at R2, cash account. Ails, look at the board. Entry 1. Freight and insurance to cash. 1 lakh. 1 lakh. Second entry, I have to kill this account. Consignment account at R2, freight and insurance. 1 lakh. 1 lakh. What is the entry that remains? Consignment account at R2, cash account. Clear everyone? Yes, sir. Next. What is the next transaction you see? So now Mr. Naresh is paying out of his pocket. How much Mr. Naresh paid for freight and insurance, not freight and insurance? Clearing and transportation, 50,000. Now, who is Naresh? Is he the partner of the business? No. He is after all an agent. Whatever he pays, he will recover from us. Whatever he incurs is our expense, not his expense. Now my question is, will he bear those expenses? Will he bear those expenses? What do you mean bear? Will he suffer that expense? No. He will pay and he will again recover. From whom? Principal. That is his business. Okay. So now Mr. Naresh is paying 50,000. For what? Transportation and clearing charges. Naresh tells Mr. Srinivas, Srinivas, I paid 50,000 for transporting the goods. Record it in your books. Now as accountants of Srinivas, we have to record it. They are our expenses. Who paid it? Naresh paid it. From our angle. Transportation and clearing charges are our expenses. Who paid it? Naresh. So what is it that comes to your mind? Transportation and clearing charges account at R2. It is our cash or Naresh is cash? Naresh is giving cash. So what is the entry that comes to my mind? Transportation and clearing charges account at R2, Naresh. Again tell me the entry. Repeat the entry once again. Repeat the entry once again. What is the entry? Transportation and... No, again. Consignment account at R2, Naresh account. Consignment account at R2, Mr. Naresh account within brackets, consignee. Consignment account at R2, Mr. Naresh account. Or I write consignee. I think I forgot to write one here. How much was it? This was for 1000 pounds. Now how much Mr. Naresh is incurring? 50,000. This also for 1000 goods. Sorry. To Naresh. I think we should have used Suresh and Naresh. Who are, who are the characters? Five star characters. Naresh. Naresh Suresh. By consignment. Our expense, him a creditor. Our expense, 
Naresh is a creditor because he paid the money, no? You have to pay that money to him. Continue. Continue. Now, Mr. Naresh also paid how much for Godown uh, go and shop rent? Mr. Naresh paid Godown and shop rent 40,000 rupees. Please tell me what is the entity that comes to my mind. Now, will he suffer that Godown rent and shopping shop rent? What we have promised, whatever he incur, I will reimburse. So it is my expense. But who paid? Naresh paid. Our expense, Naresh paid. Our expense, Naresh paid. What is the entry on in our books? Our expense account retired to Naresh account. Our expense account retired to Naresh account. What is the entry? Right entry, right entry, right entry. Consignment account retired to Mr. Naresh account. How much? 14,000. Look at the board, everyone. Rent is a period cost. It is a period cost. That means for the year, for the period. It is not for 500 cell phones or 800 cell phones. It is a cost for the period. It should be charged to the profits earned from the period. I think you remember profit and loss account discussed. What are indirect expenses? Indirect expenses are expenses which cannot be matched to the products. We cannot measure the expenses per unit sold. These are per month, per quarter, per annum expenses. So how should you deal with those expenses? We have to subtract them from the profits of the period. So to subtract from the profits of the period, I have debited the go-down rent or the shop rent. Clear everyone? Continue. Next. Advertisement expenses paid by Mr. Naresh. So advertisement expenses are paid by Mr. Naresh. Now, now you tell me. Advertisement expenses, who will suffer? Naresh has to suffer or we have to suffer? Yeah. So, our advertisement expenses, Naresh is paying. Our advertisement expenses, Naresh is paying. What is the entry in our books? Our advertisement expenses account at R2, Naresh account. Our advertisement expenses account at R2, Naresh account. Again, tell me the entry. What is the entry you have to write? Our advertisement expenses account at R2, Naresh account. Can you write? Our advertisement expenses to Naresh, no. We are going to change it with consignment. What is the entry you have to write? Consignment account at R2, Naresh account. How much? 60,000. Again, this is a period cost. Period cost. Are you paying salary to your employees per cell phone sold, per smartphone sold? No. Per month, per quarter we are paying them salaries. Again, give credit to Naresh by consignment. How much? 60,000. Clear everyone? Now apart from this, Naresh is also paying salaries. How much salary has paid? How much he has paid? 1,50,000. Now tell me, salaries are not expense of Naresh boss, they are again expense of the business, consignor. So how will consignor record? Salaries, account, data, our expenses to Naresh account because he is giver. He is giver, now he paid the money. So our salary account, data, our salaries account, data to Mr. Naresh account. Can you write our salaries account data to Naresh account? No. What is it to be right? Consignment account data to Naresh account. Naresh is getting a lot of credit.
Did you all complete it? Please tell me. Yes, sir. Not over yet. Now, Naresh is entitled to some commission. How much commission? Now, we have not done sales, no. Not correct to ask commission now. So, let us deal the next transaction. What is the next transaction? Naresh sold 800 cell phones for 12 lakh rupees. That will assume for cash. Now, Naresh is selling goods, collecting cash. Normally, when you sell goods for cash, what is entry rate? Right? Cash. Cash. cash account that are to sales account. Now, but are we receiving cash or Naresh received the cash? Naresh. Naresh received the cash. Cash belongs to what? Our sales income. So tell me what is the entry that comes to your mind? Naresh account that are to sales account. Why sales? The goods sold by him is our income. My goods. So when he sells, it is my income. Two sales credit. Who received money? Naresh received money. So Lord, what is the entry that comes to my mind? Naresh. Mr. Naresh account debtor to sales account. Once again, can I take the entry? Naresh. When I ask you to type the entry, I would tell. What is the entry I would tell? Naresh account debtor to sales. One more time. Naresh account debtor to sales. Once more. Naresh account debtor to sales. Change the entry and tell me the entry. Naresh account debtor to sales. Naresh account debtor to consignment account. Why sales is also a nominal account. Hence I am replacing it with what? Consignment. Write down the entry. Write down the entry. The key. Without writing the entry, don't prepare the account. I will break your head. What is the entry right? Naresh account debtor to consignment account. Consignment account give a credit now. By Naris. 12 lakh 50,000. He has sold only how many cell phones? 800 cell phones. Debit Naris account. See the beauty of accounting. All expenses are debited, income is credited. Continue. Now, Naresh will demand commission. What is the commission is going to demand? 4% of sales. 12,50,000 into 4%. 50,000. Okay. Now, my question is, listen to me carefully. Should I send in cash 50,000 to Naresh? Our price is already there with him. Why should you send again? You only have to tell Naresh, Naresh 15,000 commission. He will immediately take that money. Why? Because all the money is in home. Naresh. This cash of 15,000, who is holding? Naresh. He is waiting. You tell Naresh on a phone call. Naresh, uh, we have counted. You get commission of 15,000. He will say thank you sir. He will immediately take out 15,000, take it to his home and keep the money in his home. Why? Because he knows that it is his money now. So you have to only make it you need not pay. You have to only make it due. You have to only tell him that yes, we have to pay you that money. That's it. He'll take the money. Right on. When commission is made due. Look at me. Commission expense for our business. We have to pay to whom? Naresh. Expense of our business. We have to pay to Naresh. Consignment commission, expense of our business, we have to pay to Naresh. What is the entry that comes to your mind? <laughs> commission account retard to Naresh account. Why Naresh? Creditor, we have to pay him money, no? Commission account retard to Naresh. Current entry, commission, nominal account, expenses and losses, debit. We have to pay money to Naresh. Hence, you have to show him as a creditor. We have to pay money to him. So he becomes a creditor to our business, no? Can tell me the entry once again? What is the entry that comes to your mind? Commission account that are Again. Commission account Once more. Commission account that Once again. Commission account that Now change the entry and tell me the entry. What 
What is the entry? No. Loudly. Very good. Consignment account at R2. Naresh account. How much? 50,000. Naresh account give up credit by consignment. 50,000. Did you all write this? Now we are left with nothing else. We have finished the problem. Now tell me how many goods are unsold? 200. 200. Okay. What is the entry you have learned for closing stock in final account? Closing stock account that are two trading account. Here what is the entry you are going to write in this consignment account? Consignment stock account that are two consignment account. It is also like a trading account. So also like a trading account. So out of the goods sent, some goods are remaining unsold. So what is the entry I going to pass for closing stock? Consignment stock account at R2 consignment account. Write down entry. Entry for unsold smartphones. Entry for unsold smartphones. What is entry right? Consignment stock account at R2 consignment account. Consignment stock account at R2 consignment account. How much amount? Write huh? right down valuation. Valuation of consignment stock. Look at the board, everyone. Expenditure incurred for thousand phones. Packing expenses incurred for thousand phones. Freight insurance incurred for thousand phones. Transportation incurred for thousand phones. After that, all expenses are period costs. What are they? Period, period costs. They have to be matched to profits. Now, this expenditure was incurred for 1000 phones. Out of this expenditure, how much expenditure is unexpired? Expenditure for 200 phones. If for 1000 phones you have incurred this much, how much you have incurred for 200 phones? That is the logic we are going to follow. Is it clear? Right on. Valuation of closing stock or consignment stock. Particulars, calculation, rupees, three column table. Particulars, calculation, rupees, three column table. You will write. Cost price of goods unsold. Cost price of goods unsold. Cost price of goods unsold. You write 200 into 1000. Sir, what is that 1000? Cost price per phone, do you remember? How many goods were sent? 1000 goods costing 1000 rupees each, no? So 200 into 1000. How much? 2 lakh. Add. 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 Consignor add consignor expenses. 
look at the board Tatsaina has incurred 1 lakh on packing 1 lakh on freight and insurance so in calculation column you write if 1000 is equal to 2 lakh calculation column if 1000 is equal to 2 lakh what is it 1000? 1000 smartphones if 1000 smartphones is equal to 2 lakh next line 200 is equal to how much? in calculation column only if 1000 cell phones cost incurred is 2 lakh per 200 cell phones how much? Peggy phone lucky, Rundu lecture like they Rundu and the phone like and ta per 1000 phones if it is 2 lakh per 200 phones how much is it? How much is it? 40,000 right 40,000 in the amount column Okay, add, not over yet, add Consignee non-selling expenses Consignee non-selling expenses Non-selling, in underline, non-selling, 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 non-selling Consignee non-selling expenses Listen to me All these expenses are selling expenses Go down rent, salary, advertisement, commission all the expenses are considered as period costs. We also call them as selling expenses. But transportation to bring goods from Vizag to Hyderabad is not a selling expense. It is a non-selling expense. Write down. Look at the board. This only expenditure is non-selling. All the expenses are selling expenses. Salary we pay to the employee for selling the goods now. Go down rent we pay because you are not able to sell. Shop rent because you are selling goods there, no. Advertisement for selling purpose. Commission for selling purpose. These are all selling expenses. They have to be matched to sales. They cannot be taken as part of closing stock market. Only this expenditure was incurred for how many phones? Thousand phones. Out of thousand, how many are unsold? Two hundred. Write down. Consignee non selling expenses, calculation column. If 1000 is equal to 50,000 See what it do is, what it do is, add consignee non-selling expenses no, Below that you write transportation expense Only Transportation expense only Transportation expenses only If 1000 is equal to 50,000 200 is equal to how much? 10,000 10, Total Total <coughs> Total, how much is it? 2 lakh? Tell me the posting, what is entry you wrote? Consignment stock account at R2 Consignment account By consignment stock How much? 2 lakh? 50,000 How did you get this 2 lakh? 50,000? We have cut pieces out of this. We are cutting a piece out of it and putting it in closing stock. Total is how much? Two lakh fifty thousand. See now balance. No? How is it there? Two hundred here. Net effect, how much will be there? 800. 1000 here, 200 here. So how much is remaining here? 800. 800 expense, 800 income. Correct matching. Are you able to understand? So now we can calculate profit or loss on consignment. Same like trading account, credit side, debit side. Find out which side is more? Debit side, debit side is more than the credit side. So we have a loss. How much loss? 50,000. 50, so write here by general PNL account. Write down the entry. Loss. Balancing figure.
Okay, write down the entry entries P and L account, data to consignment account. P and L account, data to consignment account. How much? Fifty thousand. We have to collect from Naresh. Let us try to find out logically. Okay, press on button. How much cash did Mr. Naresh buy? How much cash did Mr. Naresh collect by selling the goods? Twelve lakh fifty thousand. Naresh collected twelve lakh fifty thousand by selling the goods. Out of that, he can reduce fifty thousand transportation expense minus fifty thousand. He can take forty thousand for rent. He can take sixty thousand for advertisement. He can take one lakh fifty thousand for salaries. He can take fifty thousand for commission. How much is left? Nine lakh. Nine lakh is left. What he has to do? He has to pay us the money. Narendra has to send us how much amount now? Nine lakh rupees. Right now, when cash is received from Narendra. Cash account data to Mr. Naresh account. How much? Nine lakh. Naresh account will write by cash nine lakh. Account will close. Go to Naresh account. Write by cash nine lakh. See whether the account is getting closed or.
list of entries to be passed in the books of the consignor. Underline. When goods are sent on consignment, loudly tell me what are the two entries you are going to pass when goods are sent on consignment? Goods sent on consignment account at R2 consignment account. Goods sent on consignment account at R2 consignment account. sent on consignment account at R2 consignment account. Entry number one. Entry number two. What is the next entry you pass? Consignment account at R2 goods sent on consignment. Sorry, what are the entries you pass first? Goods sent on consignment account at R2 trading account. First entry. Just change that. First entry was goods sent on consignment account at R2 trading account. Second entry is consignment account at R2, goods sent on consignment account. Can you the entries once again loudly? Consignment account at R2, trading account first entry. Next, consignment account at R2, goods sent on consignment account second entry. Clear? Next. When packing, comma, freight, comma, insurance expenses are paid by consignor. When packing, comma, insurance, comma, freight is paid by consignor. Tell me what is the entry loudly in the books of the consignor? Consignment account at R2, cash account. Right now. Consignment account at R2, cash account. Just now we have learned all these entries, no? What is it we are going to pass? Consignment account at R2, cash account. Next. When consignee pays non-selling expenses. Listen to me. Whatever expenses are paid by consignee, till the time goods reach the godown of the consignee. So, till the doorstep of the consignee, whatever expense are incurred, they are all called as non-selling. Once they go inside the door, whatever expense are incurred, they are all called as selling expenses. Clear? So, all expense incurred by the consignee to bring the goods to the doorstep, non-selling. After that, everything is selling. Right now, what is entry right? Now, consignee is paying. What is entry right? Consignment account at R2, consignee account. Consignment account at R2, consignee account is the entry you pass. Next. Next. When selling expenses are paid by consignee.
What is entry in pass? Consignment account data to consignee account. Same entry. Commission is due to consignee. When commission is due to consignee, when commission is due to consignee, what is that entry right? Consignment account data to consignee account. Same entry. Consignment account data to consignee account. You are right now. Next. When goods are sold on credit and no deliquidatory commission is allowed. When goods are sold on credit and no deliquidatory commission is allowed. I'll tell you what is deliquidatory commission later. Now, who is selling goods on credit? Consignee is selling the goods on credit. What is the entry in the books of the consignor? No. Right on entry. Entry will be consignment debtors account debtor to consignment debtors account debtor to consignment account. In the place of sales, we are writing consignment. In place of debtors, we are writing consignment debtors. Okay. So when deliquidatory commission is not allowed, and when goods are sold by the consignee on credit, what is the entry we are going to pass? Consignment debtors account debtor to consignment account. What is the entry we are going to pass? Consignment debtors. Debtor account on to sales boss. Normal entry. In place of sales, I am writing consignment. What do you have to pass? Consignment, debtors account, debtor to consignment. Next. When amount is collected by consignee from above debtors. When cash is collected by consignee from above debtors. Now, consignee is going to all the debtors home and he is collecting money now. Who is receiver? Consignee is receiver. Who is giver? Consignment debtors are giver. Consignee receiver, consignment debtors giver. Consignee receiver, debtors giver. Receiver, giver. Personal account receiver debit, personal account giver credit. What is entering my books now? Consignee account debtor to consignment debtors. Consignee account debtor to consignment debtors. Receiver, giver. Receiver, giver. Consignee account data to consignment data. Clear everyone? Next. Right, next. When there are bad debts, when there are bad debts, Consignee is not able to collect some sales now. Normally that strikes your mind. As soon as I say bad debts, what is it that strikes your mind? Bad debts account, debtor to debtors. Change the entry here. Bad debts account or debtors. In place of bad debts we are going to write consignment. Write on the entry. Entry will be consignment account debtor to consignment debtors account. Consignment account debtor to consignment debtors account. Below that entry you will write. Below that entry you will write. Consignment account debtor to consignment debtors. Below that entry you will write. Clearly you will write. The above entry should be passed with the amount of bad debts.
the above entry should be passed with the amount of bad debts. In place of bad debts, or you let not take this. You say bad debts will be debited to consignment account. Bad debts will be debited to consignment account. Bad debts will be debited to consignment account. Now, please tell me entries once again. When goods are sold on credit and no derogatory commission is allowed, what is entry right for credit sales? Consignment, debtors, account, debtor to sales. You don't write sales, you write consignment. Again, tell me what is entry right? Consignment, debtors, account, debtor to consignment account. When cash is collected by consignee, what is the entry in the books of the consignor? Consignee account data to consignment data. What is the entry right? Consignee account data to consignment data. Again? Consignee account data to consignment data. Consignee account is debited, consignment data account is credited. When consignee is not able to collect some amount when there are bad debts, what is the entry right? Consignment account data to consignment data. Consignment account data to consignment data. Clear everyone? Continue. For cash sales? For cash sales? Normally that comes to my mind is cash account data to sales account. But cash is taken by consignee. Sales is nominal account. And what is it here, right? Consignee account data to consignment account. Right now. And goods are sold for cash. When goods are sold for cash, what is the entry right? Consignee account data to consignment account. Now, sir, what is this territory commission? You pay ordinary commission to consignee. You tell the consignee, boss, I'll pay you 10% commission. Ordinary. How will the consignee increase his commission? How can he increase the commission? Increase the sales, commission will also increase. But is it easy to increase sales? If it was so easy, everyone would be doing business. Why anyone will be doing job? How will he increase sales now? Tell me a way out. How can he increase sales? Sales are of two types. Cash and credit. Which one is easy? Cash or credit? Cash or credit? credit? If you say cash, no. Only people who have cash, they will come and buy your goods. If you say credit, everyone will come and buy your goods. Now you can say all these websites, they are all offering installment system. So you are all buying from website, right? Because you can pay it in installment. But when you go to a shop, he says, no, 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 you have to pay me 120,000 now. Sales are reducing. So if you sell goods on credit, you can easily increase your sales. So if Kanzani says, I want more commission, I'll increase credit sales. So what it does is, if anyone is passing by his shop, you'll say, come here. Anyone is passing by, some mastery, labor, somebody, old man, he's passing by the shop. He calls him, please come. Show him the phone and say, so very, very good, take the phone. He says, I don't have money. No problem, you take it. I'll write the entry as, Netar account, Netar to sales account. Like this, he will sell away all the phones. Now, what will happen? Sales will increase. He will get more commission. But, 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 the consignor will also face a Lakshmi bomb. What is Lakshmi bomb? After some time, money will not come back from debtors. He will have huge amount of bad debts losses. So, consignee to get more commission. He will do more of credit sales. If he does more of credit sales, his commission will increase. More credit sales, more total sales, more total sales, more commission. But more total sales, more credit sales, more bad debts also. <laughs> but he is not worried for bad debts. Why? It is not his headache. No, it is headache of whom? Consignor. So now consignor observes. Oh, oh, this guy for getting more and more commission. What is he doing? He is selling all goods on credit and the checks are bouncing like cricket ball or tennis ball. Money is not coming. He comes to know that. So he tells the commission. He tells the consignee. Consignee, you don't sell goods on credit. Consignee stops. 
And then he says, okay, you have told me not to sell goods and credit, I'll not sell. So if somebody comes in the office, he says, get out. He's now angry. So he's only making sales on cash. Sales reduces, commission reduces, buyer rates also reduces. Now again, container is worried. He says, sales are reducing. He says, you only told me not to sell the goods and credit. So I'm not selling. And then sales is reduced. Now container understands. He says, okay, let's do a compromise. I'll give you 5% more commission. You sell whatever you want, way you want to sell. You sell cash, you sell credit, whatever you want to sell, you sell. I'll give you 5% additional commission. But I should not get any bad debts. I should not get any bad debts. If there are any bad debts, that will be your headache. Agree or do you agree? So he puts a condition. Can't any things. 10% commission I was getting, now I'm getting. 5% extra, 15%. So it is good, lucrative. He says, okay, Kandana, you don't worry. Whatever sales I make, my responsibility to bring cash and give it to you. You need not worry about any credit sales. If there are any bad debts, I will suffer. You need not suffer. You can sleep happily at home. And then says, okay, no problem. He says, I'll from now give you extra commission. That is called as what? Delicretary commission. Now, this will protect the consigner from what? Bad debts. Consigner can sleep happily because he will treat every sales as cash sales. For every rupee, who is liable? Consignee is liable. For him, no headache of any bad debts losses. Who will suffer bad debts losses? Consignee will suffer bad debts. Right now. Now, what is overriding commission? Sometimes, when we want the when we want the consignee to introduce a new product in the market, introducing a new product, selling a new product is difficult actually. It's not so easy. You want the consignee to put additional efforts, or you want the consignee to sell the goods at higher prices. Difficult again. So you tell the consignee if you sell the good, if you introduce a new product in the market, or if you sell the goods at higher price, I'll give you some extra commission. What is it called as overriding commission? But it will not give you any protection from bad debt losses. Now, delicretary commission, it is normally a percentage on total sales. It is a percentage on what sales? Total sales. You will get not 5% on credit sales, you will get 5% on total sales. Unless the problem says delicretary commission is a percentage on credit sales. The question will be asked in the exam. Delicretary commission is normally expressed as a percentage on what sales? Cash sales, credit sales, total sales. You should say total sales, not credit sales. Right on. Now, when delicretary commission is allowed, underline. When delicretary commission is allowed, underline. When delicretary commission is allowed, underline. Clearly write down. When goods are sold on credit, when goods are sold on credit or cash, or cash, same entry. Why? If I allow delicretary commission, I don't have any headache of budget losses. It is the headache of the consignee. Just give me the entire money. Write down the entry. Entry will be consignee account retard to consignment. Consignee account data to consignment account. Consignee account data to consignment account. Do you pass the entry, everyone? 
That's it for cash sales, credit sales, same entry. Okay, next. When there are bad debts. Loudly tell me the entry, when there are bad debts. Very good, what is entry? No entry. Why no entry? It is not my headache, it is consignee's headache. When there are bad 